In this video, we'll be exploring the height rule and specifically how it can help you with component placement. In order to fully benefit from this rule, there are three main elements to consider. Component height must be defined for components. Rooms must exist in the PCB to define the area of restricted height. And finally, a height rule must exist and reference any existing room or rooms. Component height can be defined in the PCB library by double clicking on a footprint and entering a value in the height field. The height can also be obtained from a 3D body. We can place a 3D body by using the place 3D body command and place a shape on a mechanical layer and define its overall height or its standoff height in the properties panel. Now if we go ahead and add those components to our board, we can see that the height has been defined. Now on the PCB, component heights can also be defined in this location. We can add the height value directly within the component properties by clicking on the component And we can also use the component body manager to add height and add 3D bodies with height to these components. Now that we have our heights defined, we can go ahead and create our restricted areas. So I'm going to go ahead and place a room. And once the room is placed, I'm going to go ahead and edit the properties of that room. And I'll give it a name. And I have to make sure to put the query not all for this particular room. Now we can create the height design rule to define our height limits. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new height rule and I'll name it 90 mils and set the query to touches room and select the room that we've just created so that that room is checked for this particular height rule. I can then set the max height of 90 mils and also set the preferred and minimum and save this rule. Now I can also change the query from touches room to within room if I want the components to violate the height rule only if they are completely enclosed into the room. So if I want a completely enclosed component, I can use within room. But if I just want the whole area to be restricted, I can do touches room. So if any part of the component touches the area, it will violate. Now that we're back on the PCB, we can see that these particular components with all of their heights defined are now violating the height rule that we have just created.